Uh, hello, I would like to show you some other tutorial about render nodes and output nodes. So we have our old scene. Uh, we just add some ambient occlusion and make ambient ambient occlusion for better work. We have just 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 this default uh, default render render node. Uh, we add new new shell in Furible one version 1.1 and uh, there is there is render nodes also you can you can select render node manager here so so you see we have just one render node so we can we can duplicate it or create another one so for example we make duplication of this node and we can rename it for example like a low quality node so we have this this default and this low. So uh, this scene is not so much fast, and so we can we can uh, we can change the samples. For example, zero to in this low. So we have two two re render render nodes here, and we can switch between them. Also, we can we can render it out. So the same way you can make, for example, ambient occlusion node. Uh, we make a duplicate of this node. And you can rename it to ambient. So in in ambient node, we don't need uh, reflection, transparency, refraction, shadows, texture, bump mapping, and we just here turn on not beauty pass but we like ambient occlusion pass. So and now we have our default node and this ambient occlusion node. So in default node uh, for example we don't need ambient occlusion. So and we have these two nodes. So we can go to the output output settings. We have our camera here. Uh, we can we can change resolution or deliver for Maya. For example, we need some uh, some bigger resolution. It was changed here, and now we need to render ambient occlusion pass and our default pass. We would like JPEG, for example, and, and here is our pass on the disk. We can we can use another if you, if you like. So at the end, if if you don't specify the the variety, it will it will replace your old old image. So you have to right click here, and for example, change the uh, render settings. So this will be the the name of the path, and the end will be directory render settings, and the name is for example test so and now we need just one one picture press render and in the disk there is a two directory of the name of our our render nodes one is ambient there is picture of ambient occlusion and another there is a test picture of our image. So the same way you can you can use for the for the sequence. So we, we have we have name here, so right click and uh, we have render setting name and after put your your name and the uh, hash symbols the number hash set hash symbols means uh, how many how many numbers we have. So we have sequence one to twenty frames. So I will look if I have some camera animation. Okay. Now back to output node. You will select uh, our default setting and press render. So it's very very fast. And you can look on the image on the hard disk and there is, there is our our sequence. So 
So the other very nice feature is that you can uh, save your preset of your uh, of your render nodes. For example, you like your ambient settings, and you can save it like a preset, and uh, it, it, it's saved on the hard disk, but not to the scene. So, for example, in the another scene, you can you can use your preset from your from your disk. The very similar way you can use for example for for hair. So go go back to, to, to our, our color node and uh, we will choose our hair node and, for, and that there we can we can use Maya presets. I will save it like a my hair. There is some of my old test preset. We can uh, we can combine it and use every feature you like in Maya and you know from other other tools. So thank you for your attention and have a nice day.